got doubles and singles going on right now. This is Gemini, so of course we got to have a doubles bracket starting bright and early. You know how it goes. Uh, so with me, I'm all, as always, I'm Cynetic. Most people call me Nick. I also got with me. Hack. Hack. We got Hack. Hack is back. They were going to leave us, but they decided to come back for another event. So we're well happy to have them back. Going to be around a while. All you'll right. see my little lovely face. Yeah. All right. So it looks like we are starting off with some singles on the main stage today. Uh, we got Average Loru Fan. I don't even know if that's the correct name. because That's what it seems like. Because it's all got Shorin, and we got Mustard. Mustard. And it looks like we're going to have a Kazuya Ditto going on here for our first game of the day. You know, some, So it should be fun. Kazuya Mishima. Tekken. Yeah. And I mean, Tekken 8 just came out. or It is 8, right? I'm yes, not it crazy. is 8. Yeah, no. I get the numbers wrong all the time. I thought Street Fighter 7 was out. So, <laughs> so we're just going to start off. Uh, just was a, a nice little Kazuya Ditto. So how how does the Kazuya Ditto work in for for you, Hack? Because you um, have a little more experience than I do. When it comes to Dittos, it's basically just whoever can get off a first strain off like that. All right. That is what we call a Trillion God Fist. Yep. Mouthful, but one of his uh strongest moves. Yeah. And that uh that's sort of the core combo uh, setup for Kazuya. Yeah. That's his whole core. Yeah. And then he's also got this rage drive once you go over 100%, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. It's You usually end up having to use it right away or you lose it. Yeah. It's a use it or lose it situation when it comes yeah. to the rage drive. And that's, that's exactly what we just saw happen in Average Lore Fan, just immediately getting rid of it, not dealing with it. Doing some uh, Korean wave <laughs> A second time already. He's gonna get the grab off. And so man grab going to take. Pretty sure they took that laser on purpose just to grab yeah. the rage drive themselves. So smart little play there. It's gonna be up to 3 1 now, but average little Loru fan already back on the offensive. I will say this though getting rage drive is not always as good as you would think, just because now his electric twin, it pushes the enemy a lot further away than when he doesn't have rage. Right. So it means his combo strains are going to be a lot harder to hit. However. Wow. Okay. Yep. That is the uh, average Kazuya gameplay. Electric win into five more moves and then death. That was that was a good first match. A good first showing from average Loru fan. Just absolutely taking them to taking them to the woodshed. Yeah. We fought 200 battles. We fought 200 battles, Let's everybody. Go. Big round of applause for 200 battles. The big 2-0. Oh, I don't know. I uh, wonder if we'll see a uh, a switch here from Mustard. It's possible, there, but there's also you know some people, even though maybe the stage doesn't necessarily fit the character that well, there's some people who just like, yeah, I really like small battlefield or something. Yeah. Just like, like, that's fine. That works. Going to FD, it would seem. Well, I mean, if you're going to do the ditto, you got to go to FD at some point. Yeah. And we're listening to Last Surprise, Persona 5 soundtrack. What a great game. Persona 3 Reloaded just came out I as am. well. I'm halfway through it right now. Oh, the ditto running it back. Yeah, so we're just going to keep running it back. And I like it. I like Kazuya. Kazuya is fun to watch. Coming it's from someone who plays against Kazuya quite a bit, it's it's not fun to play against, but it is really fun to watch. The game's going. All right, so... We got Kazuya Ditto and FD, each trying to fish for any kind of combo strain. It's really hard to get off on each other, especially since each of them knows what Kazuya wants. All right, and this time Mustard not taking any prisoners, going and saying, all right, you want to take me to Rage Drive immediately? How about you go to Rage Drive this deck game? We got Average Loru fan just trying to get back to stage. Oh, yeah. a safe option for Kazuya on Shield is just to recover. I wonder, who do you think is going to get off the, uh, oh, never mind. Well, I think going we know. for the kill. I, th I think we know who's going to get it off. Oh, I was just going to ask about Rage Drive, like, who's going to use it first? Oh, who's going to use it first? Well, I, with this, I don't know if, any, well, he's, there never mind. 30%. I don't think we'll ever see it in, like, a moment where it's, like, like super critical for, like, a kill or anything. I think we'll only really be seeing it for damage. Uh, because most of the time, it looks like these two, as soon as one of them gets into Rage Drive, the other one just immediately kills them yep. without much of a thought. Oh, here's the thing about Kazuya. 
if you can use it on ledge or if you use it quick enough as soon as you have rage drive, you can still use his down special and have rage drive saved. Wow, okay. And another thing on Kazuo, he has three different kinds of rage drive. You have a command rage drive, which does the most damage at 40%. Which yeah, that, that was it. That, so never mind. <laughs> and, I, and I was wrong again. So now we've seen it used to get the kill. Just grab the command range drive. As I was saying, got the command one. <laughs> Every time you try this, I know. They just kill each other. <laughs> just like, oh yeah. By the way, we have up the options. I mean, Muster is really low on shield right now. So if average alert fan just hits them, they they gotta be dodging more. They can't guard. Yeah. This bit. There's just too much shield yeah, pressure that Cosmo God. has. Yeah. So many of his options just. Uh, Absolutely oh. damaging. Just, that was <laughs> just seeing cinematic grab after cinematic grab. Yeah. What's what's super fun about those? They all uh, have iframes as soon as you start it. Yeah. That I don't yeah. know if I can say that on a stream, but is a very very terrifying move. Oh yeah, it hurts. It goes hard. There's mustard to kill. Yeah, mustard at one twelve. Drive. It's going to be a little hard. They do not have any more rage oh, drive. Think I think this they might be a bit end. of a danger. Didn't go for a, didn't oh. actually get an uppy or anything going. A taunt. That's very interesting coming from Mustard. Yeah, yeah if Especially Mustard doesn't win now, he's going to get clowned on. If Mustard doesn't win oh. after the taunt, it, there, there's going to be some words from the coaches, I think. And not to mention, Loru just taunted right back. Uh, well, you got to respect the taunt. Electric, wow. Seeing a big change from Mustard. Oh. Good spot dodge. Good down air to try and keep themselves out, and then boom, average lower fan just bringing it home. Funny enough, that's a nair, because his down air is a uh, drop down. Yeah. It's, it's, it's right. Kazuo and Mishima. My bad, I forgot. Yeah, because I realized I just watched that happen where he goes, whoosh, and then goes straight down, does the splits. Yep. I mean, Kazuo does. Kazuo, some of Kazuo's moves is like, crazy. Tech is fun like to play, because it's like, oh, some of them are like somewhat based in reality, yeah. you know? And then you got Kazuya, who's like, I'm doing six windmill kicks, <laughs> followed by a backflip. It's like, what does that achieve? It looks tight. All right, thank Basically. you, Mr. Mishima. Appreciate it. I, comparing Smash Mishima to Tekken Mishima is a whole different story. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tekken Mishima is just like, he's just like, uh, I don't even know. He's <laughs> you over there. We're fighting now. Hello. You, do you know my son? Prepare to die. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> You've met my son before? Shame for you. That's a shame. You knew my father, and now you don't know life. Now you don't know <laughs> life. I remember there was like one, I, I forget what it was in Tekken. There was one cutscene I saw where someone got thrown out of, in like a straight jacket out of a, out of a spaceship. That was a thing. Was it a Mishima? I, I know. It depends on the Tekken and... I, Who I believe I believe one of the characters' names was Heihachi. Oh, Heihachi Mishima, Kazuya's father. Yeah, I know the entire Kazuya bloodline. I'm, I'm I pretty. I'm, I just watched someone get thrown thrown out, and then someone else fall out of that same space. Tekken's weird, man. Tekken is. Cr I mean, you have a bear and a panda. Yeah. Along with someone who wears a puma mask, who only speaks in roars. Yeah, King. King. We love King's, King. King's good. King was the first the first time I played Tekken when I I was out at an arcade. And King was the first character I played. Interesting. Because I, I was just like funny guy. Funny guy. <laughs> I pointed at him. And my brother was just like, Yeah, I play I play Jin. I'm like, I don't know who that is, I don't care. <laughs> Jin Kazama, Kazuya's son. Gotcha. <laughs> it's he's something else. Because the entire lore is like... Is he the devil one? They both are, Kazuya well, and Jin. Well, isn't there one that's like literally just called Devil Jin? Yeah. I mean, in Tekken... Tekken. <laughs> Tekken 8, the final boss. I don't know if you care about Tekken 8. Spoilers to anyone out there. It's uh, Angel Jin versus True Devil Kazuya. On a meteor this in space. Like a, this sounds like a Dragon Ball <laughs> it fight. It does. This sounds like... Cause I, I, I saw, like, a game where it was, like, uh, it would show you, like, a fake anime title and a real anime title. Yeah. And it'd be, like, pick which one is real. You can never tell. And, and one of them was, like, Dragon Ball Super Ultra God Mission. <laughs> and I was, like, there's no way that's real. And it was. Yep. So, oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it's weird. Anime titles are weird. Stuff like that is always, always odd to me. Yeah. 
You got nothing? You got nothing uh, about the Ultra God it. mission? I don't watch Dragon Ball. You don't have to watch Dragon Ball. Is there any weird anime titles that you've seen? Um, I don't remember the full thing, but I was trapped in a dating sim. It's well, that's, it, that's normal for anime. It is normal for anime, but the whole thing is he doesn't want to be there. Like he's angry that oh, he's <laughs> there. <laughs> it's it's like one. Is it one of those ones where it's like a half paragraph, where it's like <laughs> if they put it on a poster, they have to put it in Japanese because if they put it in English, it would take up the whole poster. Some, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are always weird. I have um, a movie ticket in the back of my phone case um, from the time I got reincarnated as a slime, the movie. And it's abbreviated because it doesn't fit on the ticket. Yeah. And then you got, like, then you got like at the far end, you got crazy stuff. And then you got simple. You got, like, Berserk. And it's like, there you go. Simple. Nice. Have you seen Mashal? I have. It's interesting. Is that all you got? Yeah, that's pretty much I, it. I was, I was like, let's see, let's see where this conversation goes. And you're just like, mm, interesting, intriguing. I've learned something today. It looks that like we, it looks like we have someone hitting the boomer juice here. We got the the monster. It, that's my boomer juice. Oh, that's your it's boomer my juice. Boomer juice. <laughs> you're hitting the boomer juice. I might be. Oh my god. I just, I didn't get a chance to finish it. Come on, bring it over here. Here you go. Here's your boomer juice. My boomer juice. Wow, Ooh. you dented the can. Did you throw it against the I wall? I did not. It came like that, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. Why would I want to dent my own boomer juice? I don't know. Maybe because you got, like, too high off of the boomer juice, and you're just like, you're just like, you just chucked it against the wall. You were just like, ah. Uh, you're not giving me enough energy. Yeah. Work. <laughs> I, need, I need more. <laughs> Give me more. Another. <laughs> Throw it against the wall. Spike it. No. That one came in a 15-pack. Do an electric twin god fist on it. <laughs> Having it stunned there for <laughs> three seconds. Yeah, ima imagine if someone actually could do that, where there's just like a... They get in a fight, and you see someone actually pull an electric twin god fist, the guy just sat there like that <laughs> in the air for like two seconds. <laughs> what would you do? I think I would just run away. Simply just sit down all valuables and walk away. Because if you run, you're getting their attention. Well, no. It, here, here's the thing. You can't call the police there. They can't do anything. <laughs> you think a bullet's going to stop that guy? No. Just it's going to take an act of God. You'll, you'll see what happens. No. If, someone, if someone's getting robbed and they get hit with the electric wig god fist. Hey, you didn't it, see it, anything. It, it, I'm going home. <laughs> I got stuff to do today. I can't be around here no more. I got to. Going home. Go pack a bag. Don't want to be in this area no more. Go home. Go bed. Go home. Go bed. But, yeah, I mean. We have a bunch of people congregating around the, uh, scores, the table. scores table, so it looks like we should be getting into our next match of the tournament soon. I know we are doing the doubles bracket as well right we now. All right, and, and we first doubles match and today. I don't think that is a doubles match. They just said two people. Well, they also do it by a team name. Oh, was that a team name? It, it sounded like it. I could be wrong, though. Well, every name that people got, every gamer tag could also be a team name. Uh, th yeah, that is fair. So I guess we will... It is a doubles match. See, there's two people going up to the monitor. Oh, yeah. Speaking of monitors, craziest thing. I did my training for uh, my job. Yeah. And they use a monitor from, like, 2003. Nice. It was kind of crazy. The monitor that I had to use when I... I worked at a pharmacy. Ah. The monitor we had... There were, like, dead pixels across the entire middle of it. It's like you couldn't <laughs> see anything. So if I wanted to read a document, I'd have to s minimize the window and move it up so I could <laughs> see. And then I was like, hey, can we fix that? They were like, no. And I'm like, why not? And they're like, we don't want to. I mean, like, isn't it right. sometimes better to um, just buy a whole new monitor than try to fix it because it costs more just to fix it? Well, that's what I said. I, I, when I said fix it, I don't mean, I mean throw that out. <laughs> Get rid of it, cause there's no, cause you can't fix that. You'd have to get all new glass and everything. It would be more too much. expensive, yeah. Just throw the whole monitor out. We don't need it anymore. Exactly. Or or donate it. There are people who will take a dead pixel monitor. Cause there are people who, who have really bad monitors. Well, yeah, I had one, but it's like the one I had when I was like in middle school that had dead pixels on it. It's like the top left corner, ah. and it's only like this big, you know. It's very small, so no one really. I don't. You don't care about it. But when it's, like, the size of a Big Mac in the middle of your <laughs> screen, then it's a problem. Are we talking pre-2010 Big Mac we're, or post? We're talking the Big Mac that the, whoever ha the McDonald's worker had it 
they were angry that day, so they punched <laughs> it. <laughs> so they flattened it oh. a little bit. Duh. But it's like still Big Mac size. And the lettuce is all in the box. It's not even really. You know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about? They never put the, the lettuce is all that shredded lettuce. They just, it just goes in the box. And you're trying to pull it out. It's like get it all over the desk. It's get it all over the, the table. It never stays together. <laughs> and then you're just sitting there. And then you take a bite out of it. And all the sauce goes out the backside. And you're just like. Now any <laughs> leftover lettuce is now soaked in sauce. So you can't pick it up. Exactly. <laughs> it's a problem. Shout out get to it, McDonald's. Get it together, McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> get it together. I love the Big Mac, but get it together, man. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they're getting a lot of uh, backlash because they raised their prices. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, yeah. But, like they, they, I, You're always going to get backlash whenever you raise the prices. Because, like, now I've been seeing games that are, like, $70. Oh, no. It is really bad. And I'm like, that is a nightmare. I'm like... I'm like, I love Persona 3 Reload, and I'm I'm glad I have Game Pass because I was not going to pay $70 on launch day yep. to get it. Because I, I, I paid $70 on launch for one game. Do you know what game that was? What game was that? Jump Force. Jump Force. I wanted to die. <laughs> I was sat there. I'm like, this is the worst game I've ever played. It's funny. We want to talk about a game. Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash reached a, um, what's it called? A world record for most returns. Oh, yeah. 100,000 copies in <laughs> three days. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. The game was <laughs> something else. I don't know why they didn't have, uh, like, either one player. like, Because I saw that there's like o it's only two-person versus two-person battle. Yeah, 2v2. Which is weird to me. It's like, why can't you just do one person versus one person? Yeah. I feel like it would be easier to do the 1v1 rather than the 2v2. You know, but I feel like anything lower than three, it has to be a one v one, because it's always gonna be an unfair fight. Well, I think with like uh, what is it called? Like games where it's like the a uh, tag stuff. Tag team. Well, yeah, where it's like, oh, you pick two people. That makes more sense to me because it's only one person at a time. Oh, like Mortal Kombat one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, if you swap in and out, that's fine. But it's like, what if I don't have a, a duo to play this game yeah. with. What am I supposed to do then? If I don't have someone else to play with, it's just like, am I just supposed to play Itadori by myself? <laughs> I don't know. Anime games are always something else, because they're, they're never the same game. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you get a banger, and sometimes it's just like, yeah, they made that. First That's true. Flash. That's true. I want them to make, like, a FIFA game, but with blue luck. That's what all I want. I want uh, I want blue luck, the game. So, uh, like, a, like a Mario... <laughs> yeah, like strikers. Mario, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> like strikers. But I want like yeah. The, but with Maybe the I just want to play strikers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's actually what I want. I don't even want. It. <laughs> I'm just like, I just want. I just want a fun soccer game. So I was wrong. It is a um, solos. We yeah. are in a. I thought it was a duos because I saw multiple people go up there. Yeah, they just got their hype squad. Everyone they just, they, hype just squad. they just they just they they're just sitting there. They got the they got the signs. We got uh, Lucas versus Yoshi. Yeah, we got TCC versus Elio going on. Uh, Lucas, we've been seeing. I've been seeing a lot recently. Aiden's been playing it. Yes, there's this specific jump cancel grab or tether grab thing that he has. Yeah, Aiden has custom controls for uh, for Joy-Con Lucas that they use, that they terrorize people with. Yep, I have been a victim of that. Yeah. It, it's kind of crazy. It's just because you can zero to death with the chain grab. It's a short hop into the grab, which is it literally does maybe three damage, but it you could just chain it yeah, across the it, entire stage. If you do it forty five times in a row <laughs> and break your fingers in the process. I mean, Yoshi is one that we don't see that often. I mean, I watch melee, so I see a lot of Yoshi because people try to be Amsa and they're not Amsa. Yeah, of course. But it's not one I see you see in Ultimate all that often. <laughs> Mainly, it's just Yoshi is very floaty. He's a he's a decently floaty character. Yeah. I mean that that's good for like recovering and stuff, but it also makes you a little bit of a combo fodder oh, if you're not careful. Very. Lucas here has every recovery option available to him. Yoshi not not really able to do anything off ledge because as soon as he uses his second jump, he's just kind of gone. Yeah. 
Because his second jump is his recovery. He gets super armor throughout the whole thing. But he doesn't have a uh, a up special. Yeah, Lucas got recovery. that that good option, the short fall into the the like rising. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's a forward air that he does to just recover uh, to sort of push them back off the ledge. Is a really good option for him out there. Use him pretty well. Surprised I have yet to see an up smash. It's a very dangerous move for Lucas to use, but the first frame and a half, I believe, has super armor. Ooh, nailed the Sorry. nailed the PK freeze there. Didn't kill though, which is surprising because PK freeze kills pretty early. Yeah, but that smash is gonna be one. I believe that was what was that forward smash? That was down smash. Forward smash is his little stick because oh, yeah. Ness has the bat. I was like, I know Ness has the bet. I don't play this game enough, I guess. I need to play more Smash. I need to I need to get in the sauce. Learn every single character. See, yeah, look, there's the up Smash. Learn how to do all of Kazuya's inputs blindfolded. Honestly, a lot of his inputs are the same buttons, just timing. Yeah. Uh, Electric Wind God Fist is the same thing as Wind God Fist. Um, but with better timing. Yeah, and then Dragon Uppercut is that, except you hold the button. I'm being serious. I know I know you are. It's still funny. <laughs> just make it less funny. That you, <laughs> if anything, it makes it more funny. That you're just like, yeah, this is how it works. Oh, nice little slam them into the ground and send Board them into the blast zone. Forward air into up air. A lot of PK freezes from Elio. Not a very safe move. Pretty easy to dodge and leaves you vulnerable. It's going to be... Going pretty good. I mean, bringing it back to the last stock, it all matters here. It doesn't matter what happened the first, the second stock. But now it just matters. Oh, I think it's an, any that punish. That was very interesting. That's the first time I've ever seen something like that. So when Yoshi ground pounds, he has these two stars that go out to the either side of him that are hitboxes. Mm -hmm. Like, they, they will hit you and knock you back. But oh, nice. Lucas's forward, or F smash, is a reflector. And so he reflected the star, but did no damage. Well, I mean, it probably doesn't do all that much. Probably just knocks back. But I don't know. Oh, yeah. The grab going to go for the up air. Not going to quite get it. Yoshi almost had a jab lock there. But pretty much anything from Elio here could kill Yoshi. So yep. please be very careful. Yep, trying to use the shield and the dodging options as best they can just to play on the defense a little bit but are going to need to advance to get close in that range because otherwise they're just going to be pushed out with the PK fire, the PK freeze. They are going to have to try and advance Good. a little oh. bit. Oh, nice Almost. little combo there. Trying to win it back and boom, forward the forward smash. smash to take him down. Big comeback from Yoshi. So that's a good move. Using the yarn style. Yeah, nice little, nice little comeback there. Uh, nice little comeback there from them. Uh, it was looking a little dicey, especially with how uh, safe the Lucas was trying to play with the PK fire, just zone him out. Especially, what was he, 110? Yeah, 110, 112, something like that. And Over. then it was just like, boom, up air, boom. Whatever the egg throw thing is, <laughs> I think that's up B. That's, yeah. And then just another up air into getting the a good forward uh, a smash because they Which don't quite fall to reason. ledge. They no. didn't l fall to the ledge. They just were fell right on the side of it. No, he actually did grab ledge. Oh, did he? He just neutral get up. <laughs> ledge they, is. They, they might have tried to do the thing where they fell down and do the like forward air again, but just didn't get the get it on time that time around. Back to FP, same characters. Yeah. This should play out a little more into. Elio's favorite action. Yeah. Because Yoshi does not have many places to go on FD. Yeah, there's not there's not a whole lot he can do here. He was using the platforms last time to help set himself up. Uh, or they can chain just chain up airs. Almost go. gets the spike. Very scary to see Yoshi run off stage. Yeah. Can't quite hit the down smash there. Just going to try and keep finding any like real options here. Charging forward smash. Oh, jeez. Just trying to get back to stage. Carry on the yeah. egg. Very interesting. Well, good grab there. Just going to push him off stage where they have the aerial superiority. Going to try and keep him off the ledge. I wonder if we'll see a spike. Because both Elio and 
Yoshi have really good spikes. Was able to counter the the falling forward air there. Was able to keep it back. I mean, just going for the PK freeze again. Just going straight for it. That option. It's going to be side tilt send him back off. Yoshi just going to come in, regain control of the stage. Elio, it looks like he's oh. not going to be able to get the uh, up B there. Didn't go. Bring themselves back in. Didn't go the right way with this PK Thunder. Ooh. Oh, that might kill. No. No. Oh, and the PK Fire misses as well. We're going to get spiked into the stage. Still in at 182%, and most options now should kill him. Yep. Yeah, just there a forward air to, to send him out. Lucas has two spikes, a back air and a down air spike. Yeah. So he has, he has some good options off stage and on stage, because a lot of his stuff will stun, just depending on how it's used. And we see Yoshi doing some nice aerial strings here to bring it back in. Ryan for the up. Ooh, who tried to tried to go for like a delayed down B there to try and uh, punish, but still got caught by the hitbox anyways. Ooh, nice spike. Spike, man. Nice. Going back to the side. Looks down like smash not landing. Didn't catch the roll this time. We see <laughs> we see Lucas trying to do the same thing, try and get those uh, aerial strings, gonna go for a grab. I think an up air here from Yoshi could probably get a kill. It should kill. This almost gets hit by the PK tree. The one thing that I could probably see beating out Yoshi's super armor. Only just because it is a freezer. Yeah. There aren't many of those in the game. Big force actually just to send them straight out. Elio uh, looking for a forward smash of their own, but not quite able to connect. Reflection of the star. Again, very interesting. The uh, down air from Yoshi. Very devastating because it's a multi hit. Yeah. Most people only shield the first couple and then don't see the other three. Yeah, it's hard to shield all of them. Well, yeah. I just because the timing feels like weird, because sometimes it feels like he should be landing and should be. And he's not. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, he just hangs in the air forever. Amazing DI from T here. T Anything kills Yoshi. A grab back throw should do it. Good block. But not Forward gonna be able to block that. Kill. Gonna get caught in the jaw with the stick. <laughs> gonna get absolutely sent Dinosaur. back to where they came from. Dinosaur beat by little child by stick. DK Freeze missing. I was actually really confident that would hit. And a lot of a uh, winning of a neutral game here by Lucas. Yeah, just trying to sort of get anything going here, but oh. good roll, good read wow. on the roll through. The dinosaur not scared at all. In fact, that's 2-0 Yoshi. That's a, that's a real gotcha moment. It's just like, ah, I haven't rolled left all game. It's like, oh, he read it somehow? Oh, okay, my bad. My fault. That's, my fault, G. <laughs> that's the soul read there. You can see it in your eyes. I knew it was happening. You can't hide from me. I, uh, the dinosaur always wins. You'd Yeah, that's crazy. Any online Yoshi you go against is either really cracked or forgets that they don't have a recovery and dies off stage. Yeah. I mean, bro, I've, seen, I've seen that exact same thing. There's no, like, mediocre Yoshi. You can't, you can't just be, like, okay. You either have to be really good or you should never pick up the character. Yeah. I would try to pick up Yoshi at some point. You'll probably hear me talk about me picking up different characters a whole lot. I've tried at least a little bit. Mm -hmm. But Yoshi was pretty fun. It's just, you gotta be very patient. He's very floaty, and his moves have a lot of end lag to them. Yeah. But we are actually, and now I'm being truthful about this, are getting our first doubles match. Are you sure? Up on, yes, I'm sure. Are you sure? I recognize my kids anywhere. You sure? <laughs> I really hope so. They might just be the hype squad. You don't know that. <laughs> not, were, not the hype squad. You were, <laughs> you were wrong the last time. I four was. Pe four people walked up on stage, but three of them sat on one side. <laughs> Imagine if it was a 1v3. <laughs> that would be terrifying. Imagine. That's what they do. It's a 1v3. You just have, there's no team attack. It's one person with three stocks, three people with one stock each. That's the new. That's the new meta. So, I will let you in on a little secret here. 
this is Kraken and food. We all know I advocate for their school. Uh -huh. Kraken has learned Kazuya. Like, a good amount of Kazuya. However, here's the, here's the kicker. I ended up training him because he doesn't own the character. So this, yeah. <laughs> He's really good with the character he doesn't own. Yo, I, I got I to gotta go to the school today. I got to practice. Why can't you practice at home? You have bad. I don't own the character, dog. <laughs> just, just buy it. <laughs> it's like $5. Just get the fighters fast, man. <laughs> get them. But bro, that <laughs> <laughs> bro, that was so. We were when we were sitting there. So we had to get three new switches for this event, right? Yes. So, uh, uh, Alessandra and I had to sit down and like grind out all the character yep. rosters for all three of those new switches. And while we were sitting there, I was like, "Hey, do we really need to type in the super long code for Piranha Plant?" Does anyone even play the character? <laughs> and they were just like, yeah, we have to, because there's going to be one piranha plant. I'm like, can we just ban that person from the tournament? <laughs> is that allowed? Because <laughs> I do not want to oh. type this 16-string code in three times. Everyone is uh, showing up like, oh, who do you play? Oh, I play this. Oh, I play piranha plant. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> who, who's your main? Piranha plant. See you next turning. <laughs> See we you already, later. We already DNF'd you. Yep. See you next time, kid. Oh, okay. You know what? Makes sense. Not going for uh, Kazu in the doubles. All right. So we got we got Egg, and we got Shugith uh, on the Kraken red team. and food. I believe we have seen uh, Shugith here a lot. We Egg, have. I believe I believe Egg is Zoas, right? Zoa, yes. Because I I recognize that uh, that choice of Roy skin anywhere. That is, that is a Zoas choice right there. And we so we got we got a lot of return players this time around, uh, which is nice. It's always good to see uh, how Old far they as well as yeah. It's it's always fun to see how far uh, players have gotten since uh, the last tournament we saw them in. So it's always interesting seeing uh, some friendly fire from the team, completely unintentional. But we do have team attack on. So yes. oh that hydrant. Yeah. 1990 actually got the. That's good. That is good. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we're probably going to see a backer at some point. Like, I get it when people's names are like local necromancer and you can't fit it, but it's like, why yeah. do some people just change like change their name? Yeah, it's like, oh, wow. Roy get, just killing everyone. As, as he should. As <laughs> he should. Roy is the only character that deserves to be in Smash. Only play. The only one. The only one. That's just too funny. Because I want to see Roy, and then you see Roy murder everything. That's how it should be. As the Founding Fathers intended right there. <laughs> That's what... Talking about the first men, we're talking about Roy. When, when George Washington made Roy. <laughs> when he <laughs> created Fire Emblem. <laughs> this is, this is what it's all about. Nah, George Washington. Oh, wow. Oh. Just going to get that uh, the classic Ness finisher, the grab, and I believe, the back throw. Yep. It'll uh, kill at 90% on anyone. Lower on lighter characters. Yeah. But when you're... Pretty, pretty Roy. Solid weight. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta get up there. You gotta get like 80. Your Bowser is like, ah, why are you playing with Magic? Yeah. <laughs> what part of the bracket are you in that you see Bowser Ness? Right now we're saying they're, they're trying to keep it friendly to the ones. Does Roy does manage to reach? Oh, nice wow. follow, chasing them across the stage just to get that forward air. Green, both one stock. Red, both two. Yeah. We'll see if they can uh, bring this back. I mean, both are at a decent percent to die. Yeah. You get on yeah. dead. I was going to say on death's door, but no, he was let in. Yeah, she, she, <laughs> was just like, she was on death's door and started knocking. Was yeah. just like, yeah, hang on. Let me ring the doorbell. Hang on one second. You got a package? It's uh, it's me. Egg surviving. Oh, didn't get the, uh, oh, that's cracking now. We're gonna see if uh, if food here can bring it back. One v two. If he gets the Roy gone, then it should be a decently easy game. Oh, nice. Roy gone. Oh, he still has one more spot. 
Yeah, is there is there stock sharing in this? Um, I am unsure. We'll have to ask. Are you able to do stock sharing in this? They're not listening to me. All right. Maybe we'll eventually. Back uh, throw. <laughs> well, I mean, um, ooh. this is a very very. Oh. Does it get does it get a good bounce? So they're just gonna fall there. It's not that he didn't get a good bounce. It's the fact that Shuga took the hit, so he couldn't make it to stage. Oh, okay. I thought he hit the like bottom lip of the, because I know I've seen I've seen uh, Nessus before like they essentially the splat off the stage, right? Yeah, they uh they tech the stage oh, yeah. so that way Teching they can. is what it's called. I call it splatting because I have, <laughs> I have brain rot. <laughs> Yeah, uh, recover into stage tech that. Very hard, by the way. But possible. Yes. Well, Just I mean, to immediately recover again. I mean, we've seen, I've seen Aiden do it a lot. Hey. Yeah, we got three KOs within the first minute of battle. Let's go, Roy! Woo! <laughs> yeah, no, it was. You immediately knew, too. Yeah. <laughs> Roy is Pog. Oh, oh, here we are seeing Mr. Mishima himself. We're seeing we're seeing Mishima <laughs> come back. Or how uh, I, I believe I believe uh, they just tried to riz the casters up. Kraken just turned back and <laughs> tried rizzing us up. All right, Kraken. How Kraken loves to say it, the uh, Mishimi. -mi. <laughs> oh, there's Electric Wind into a back air. Yeah, kind of got knocked out of the combo they were trying to do by their own teammate, but that is okay because uh, it didn't didn't matter too much. They just couldn't get like a longer string like you'd want. Fun Kazu effect. Any double F smash from him will break your shield, except up smash. Down smash, forward smash. It just takes two of them to break a shield. Yeah, I mean he's strong. The breaks defenses. Oh, oh wow. we just saw a forward air chain from Shugith to take Kraken's second stop. Yeah, Shugith just carrying them across the map, carrying them across the world, saying, here's your transatlantic flight, my guy. Forward smash, just deleting Hackman in general. Yeah, just getting, just getting rid of him. Your time is up. We aren't in the arcades anymore. It's 2024. Egg only on 71%. Very, still death percent. The one thing I, I like about the uh, about doubles is that if you're if Mishima gets a grab, they at least don't put in like pause everything so we watch the cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately though, it still has its eye frames. Wow, Shugi on guard against yeah. dude here. Had a little brain fart. I mean, Kraken is does have the rage drive. Kraken struggling a little bit just because Mishima doesn't get his auto turn in a doubles match. Oh nice. Super armor in that grab. Yeah, he gets super armor for the grab. Well, I mean, he gets super armor for everything. He gets super armor for breathing. Yeah. Bro has like a, a passive where it's like every five seconds he swaps between 20% damage and 20% armor. It's like that's yep. <laughs> Wow, obliterated by the hydro. All right. We will see if there is. Never mind. We will not see if there is stock sharing. Well, I don't think he would stock share there anyway, just because of how high up Ness was. That is true. And just because, like you said, the auto turn on the Mishima it's, it's, it's tough, so that's going to make combos for them very difficult already. Well, there is no auto turn. That's the downside. Well, yeah, that's that's the thing. So if you are uh, if, if you had to choose oh. between Ness and, and Kazuya, I think you would want Ness as the last guy remaining. Well, when it's just Kazuya by himself, Sun into the F-Smash yep. should take it. That is a 2-0 uh, for Shugith and Egg. Shugith and Egg. Yeah, the auto turn for some characters is super weird. If it's a free for all, or just like if there's two enemies, mm -hmm. there's just gonna be no auto turn. Yeah. And if there is, it's like really funky. Well, like yeah, because the game just doesn't know who you're supposed to auto turn to. Salute our, our fallen soldier. <laughs> always bring you can always bring it back in singles. Yeah. Or right. up through losers. That's also true. I don't know if it if is there, there is if there is a, a losers bracket for doubles. I know there I'm pretty sure there might be for singles. There a hundred percent is for singles. Yeah. I, with the amount of people we have here, I feel it'd be criminal not to have a losers bracket. Well I think we're also doing pools again. Oh. So I think it like I think for like uh the start, it's like oh it's just pools. And yeah. then if you get out of pools 
That, I, I don't know how. I, I I'm not even gonna pretend I know how the bracket works this time around. I'm just hoping it's running like 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 a regular. Just yeah, you lose, you go to losers. You can either make it out of losers or you can make it as far as you can. What's up? Well, yeah. I mean, that's it's always nice. To, I, I think loser's bracket is good. I know it takes a little longer, and some people don't like it. Yeah. I know a lot of TOs don't like a uh, loser's bracket just because of how long it takes. Mm -hmm. But it feels so much nicer because, I mean, for big events, right? They're like, if you, someone has the miracle run where it's like round one losers and they go straight through to grands. So I am seeing someone in the crowd heat. who I believe is a Dr. Mario player. Uh, is it the person wearing Dr. Mario cosplay? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> is it the person with a stethoscope and a and one of those like circle things? Those ha I don't even know. I'm pretty sure those what were those used are as like um, lights. Well, I mean, the one on their head is because it looks like it came off a miner's helmet. But <laughs> I'm talking about you know those those yeah. It, it was just like a metal plate really to like reflect light. I guess is probably what it was used for. Most likely. But yeah, I mean, the Doctor Mario fit goes hard. You think they're gonna use the uh the black one? Yeah, because they're in j decked out in all black. It's got the color. They're matching the color scheme. It, w it would be a wild pivot if they're <laughs> they use the pink one. <laughs> no, not <laughs> even that. What if they're just like, yeah, I play Sora. <laughs> they're just like, yeah. Yeah, I play Pyramithra. What about yeah, it? Yeah, I play, I play <laughs> Pam. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Oh, how'd you know I play Donkey Kong? Oh yeah yeah yeah, bro. That would be Dr. so. Doctor Mario. Oh Who's my that? God. That'd be so funny. Imagine, like, MK or, like, Spargo shows up <laughs> fully decked out with, like, wearing, like, a Mithra thing and then just doesn't play Pyro Mithra. <laughs> MK Leo showing up dressed as Kazuo Mishima. <laughs> MK Leo, sh Leo shows up with the Joker mask. It's like, oh, we're going to see Leo Joker again. And then he just plays Violet again. That's all it is. And we're just like, oh, thanks, Leo. I've heard Appreciate recently it. he's playing a lot of Ken. He's What's up? There is a loser's, loser's bracket. bracket. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Thank you for the information. Thank you. Uh, We're lucky to get any at this point. Yeah, the Rizzler came back and was just like, "Hey." <laughs> <Rizzler>. <laughs> what? I, I that's just what. That's what happened. He 